Um, what are we looking at in that photograph? So this is looking into the master bedroom from the hallway. Um, the bed is located there where you see it. The door opens inward and to the left, and there are some drawers that were in a uh, little box that was hanging on the wall, lying on the floor. And this, uh, I'm going to zoom in on this dresser. Um, the dresser that we see, um, kind of more, well, I zoomed in on it in the photo, um, those drawers appear to be pulled out a little bit. Yes. Um, when you, uh, in your career, when you have responded to um, other burglaries and home invasions, um, is that how a dresser typically appeared? Judge, I have objection. I think this is vague and ambiguous and calls for speculation. He's noticed as an expert, he said he has responded to hundreds of burglaries and home invasions. I'm not sure what else. Well, he can testify to what he saw in those photos, but whether or not the jury determines whether or not this is how this should appear, whether or not this is ransacked, that's a jury question that they can answer. Okay, but I think the question I asked was, um, in other burglaries and home invasions, is did the dresser drawers appear like this? He can answer whether they appeared like Okay, so in other burglaries and home invasions that you've investigated, would the appearance of these drawers be consistent with what you had seen at those other crime scenes? That was the first time I had seen drawers lined up that perfectly and not pulled out to the point where you could access the contents of the drawers or the contents being on the floor. Now I'm gonna put on the overhead this is States 108. What area of the master bedroom are we looking at here? This is just inside the doorway. Okay, and you mentioned that there were some drawers from a jewelry box or a jewelry thing hanging on the wall? Yes. Um, and those appear to be on the floor? That's correct. This is States 109. Let me back up. What are we looking at in that photograph? This is that uh, box that I was talking about that was hanging on the wall next to the door. I'm putting on the overhead now, States 110. Um, different view of that same dresser that you were just speaking of? Yes. There's also a, a television in the, in the middle of the photo for lack of better identification. Correct. The cabinets below it don't appear to be open? No. This is States 111. Uh, what are we looking at in that photograph? It's a bag with uh, some clothing items in it that was sitting on the floor next to the television. Bag obviously not dumped out? No. Drawers on the lower part of the dresser not pulled out? Correct. <clears throat> this is uh, States 112. Um, another view of the master bedroom? Yes. Um, the, the cabinet, well, let me zoom in. Do you see disturbance um, in sort of the, the headboard backing area of the, of the bed? Yes, the cabinet door is open. Okay. The drawers below it don't appear to be pulled out, is that fair? They are not. This is States uh, 115. Let me zoom back out. Just another view of the um, bedroom, is that fair? That's correct. And let me put on the overhead States 117. Sort of the right side of the bed as you're facing the bed. Yes, that was another drawer that was pulled out but it didn't appear that anything in the drawer had been disturbed. Now you, you said there was, I'm gonna go back to States 214. Oops, I'm wearing it the same way. Um, 
looking at, at 214, um, there is a bedroom kind of office area right as you enter the house to the left. Yes. Did um, that room appear disturbed to you? I don't believe so. I really didn't pay a lot of attention to that room. I mainly focused on the other ones. Approach the witness, Your Honor. Okay, I'm showing you what's been marked as state's proposed 123 through 135. Ask you to just look through those and tell me if you recognize which room that is. Yeah. That's the office. Okay. And the state moves to admit your order um, 123 to 135. Oh, I'm sorry. No objection. 123. Now, it was in this room that Mr. Randolph um, explained that he was able to recover a gun that he later used to shoot uh, Mr. Miller? That's correct. And do you recall in the interview where it was that he said he got the gun from? He described it as a shoe rack in the closet. Okay. Um, I'm putting on the overhead what's been admitted as states 123. Um, does that depict the area that uh, he was speaking of? It does. And can you just kind of point to the jury where the shoe rack was hanging according to him? Right here. And so he explains that he recovers a gun from that area and that's what he ultimately uses to shoot Mr. Miller? And a clip. And a clip. And then I think you testified earlier that he describes sort of a like a physical bumping into each other um, in a doorway Yes. Um, with Mr. Miller before he shoots him? Correct. Is that doorway depicted in this photograph? Yes. Um, and that doorway is to that long hallway between the garage and the master bedroom? Correct. Now, were you aware of whether or not there was um, prescription medication in the residence? I was aware there was. Okay. Do you, do you know if any of that appeared to be taken or would that be a question for Detective O'Kelly? That would probably be a question best addressed to him. Okay. Um, in the uh, description of the encounter that Mr. Randolph gave you on the 9th of May, um, did he describe whether or not that door leading to from the house to the garage was open or closed prior to the time he shot Mr. Miller? During the initial interview with him, he described it as being closed, but then he opened it after he retrieved the pistol from Mr. Miller. Did he talk to you about what hand Mr. Miller had his gun in, meaning the gun of Mr. Miller? I believe he said the right. Okay. 